Hey dolls, I'm Sheenam Inferno and welcome back to my channel. K-pop is reminiscent of lovely big eyes, rosy skin and specially glossy diffusing lips as if we have just licked on a popsicle. I wanna wait no more, so let's get started. As always, I have primed my skin with Guerlain or Primer and today I will be using Chanel Ultra Wear Flawless Foundation. It claims to be buildable from medium to full coverage and it surely is buildable, but not to the extent of full coverage. I have a love and hate relationship with this product. On one side, it is truly lightweight and you can instantly feel it as it is so fluid. And because of that, if you really want to build it up, it requires a lot of product. By the way, it would be lovely and encouraging if you will subscribe to my channel. And if you really like my content and want to support, please press the notification bell so we can always remain connected. This foundation takes on other cream products on top of it like magic. I might have had one of the best baking experience over this foundation. On the other hand, it is not the easiest foundation to blend to perfection. Somehow it requires more work and I feel you have to prep the skin really well for it to work. It's not something I would suggest a beginner to go for. Rather go for the YSL All Our Foundation that is simply one of the best foundations I have come across. Moreover, the shade range is crap. It has only 16 shades and it was difficult to find a good match for myself, more so because it oxidized on my skin. I would like to clear out that because it oxidized on my skin, it does not mean it will oxidize on you too. Whether a foundation oxidizes or not is an individual's reaction between the foundation and the chemistry of your skin, so it can't be generalized. I used Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in my drugstore video that I will link below. I liked it, but I was not in love with it. Since then, I have used it many times and eventually, I started loving this concealer. Go and grab it and it's insanely affordable. I'm highlighting my under eye, my chin and nose and skipping the forehead simply because my wig is covering most of it. It would be awesome to be friends with you guys on Instagram. Follow me at sheenam underscore inferno so we never miss each other and you can know me better. I sneak peek all my upcoming content first on Instagram. So join the Infernal family to find out what happens behind the camera. Dior Loose Powder to bake my highlighted areas. By the way, I use damn beauty blenders for everything, be it blending the foundation, the concealer or applying the bake. For brows, I always use Inglot AMC Brow Gel in shade 21. I start by outlining my brows in the shape I want. Personally, I keep it very close to my original shape. And to do so, I use the tip of a dried felt tip gel liner. 
It is far way easier to handle and much more stable than a regular brush. After that, it is just a matter of filling it up. But be mindful of being light-handed near the start of the brows to make it appear more natural. Sometimes when you're here, I can't feel no doubt Cause you keep me where the stars are found It doesn't really matter, cause you're here with me now The Freedom System Palettes by Inglot is great, especially for makeup artists It basically gives you the opportunity to customize and make your own palette by choosing each and every shade yourself. All the individual shades and the palette itself needs to be purchased separately and that ends up costing a lot. But you don't need to fill the entire palette at once. You can go at your own speed. Today, we are going for a very simple eye look that takes only minutes to recreate. Get hold of Inglot Rainbow Trio in 129 and use the middle pink purple shade all over your crease. I'm barely dipping my brush in the shadow because I don't want too much pigment at one time. As you will see, I will build the color very gradually because I'm using only one color and going all around my eye, top and bottom. As you draw the color out, fade it more and more by applying almost no pressure on the blending brush, holding it far from the barrel to encourage free movement and using the residual shadow instead of going back in the pan. Nova Rainbow Eyeliner in 58 is a glittery bronze color and all I will do is cut a clean crease with it, fill the lid in and end it in rough wisps like motion. The thing about this technique is that you need not be precise at all. The unevenness in it is what makes it beautiful, almost in a powerful way and your hand will create something totally unique to you every time you do it. Never ignore the inner corner because that can make a lot of difference. I'm using Duraline by Inglot to adhere the duochrome purple glitter that makes the look even more edgy. Complete the look with white gel liner in the waterline and some lashes. I love lashes, so I always go in with fall lower lashes 
as I already have lash extensions on the upper side. Givenchy cheap prism blush, but in an unconventional way. To make the entire face look more cutesy and K-pop, apply the blush right underneath the eye and all around till you reach the brow bone and around the hairline. I'm also applying some on the chin and the nose, cause first it brings the look together and second I have been really into it lately. By the way, this blush is expensive but bought off. I totally recommend it if you are into makeup. I'm using Shimmer Shadow 25 from the Inglot palette that we used previously to highlight my brow bone, nose tip and cupid's bow. If you want to highlight your cheekbone, I suggest something in bright pink that matches your blush. It will look pretty good. To achieve the popsicle lip, you basically need to follow three simple steps. Go first with a cherry color lip balm all over the lip. Second with a red lipstick, liquid or bullet near the lip closure. And third, an orange lip gloss over the red, creating a reverse ombre. The baseline idea is to create a seamless gradient amongst all the shades. And to do so, use your fingers or a brush. Can you use a lip liner for this look? I suggest don't, cause it will create defined borders and will kill the purpose of naturally dissolving lips. Doubted all that I could do Knowing what I need to do All I can say The word is thank you I think it's why
heart you need to push Away from the shore Amongst the waves Exactly where I want to be I am where I want to be this look is easy, quick, impactful, catchy, and very feminine. The lips make it look almost fresh and lively. All you need to do now is to wear a crown and hit the town like there's no one better.